Five cars started the first round of the used car parts Subaru Cup. Unfortunately, this was the only sight we got of Mike Motes and Gary McDonald as they stopped later in the stage with an engine fire. Stu Beam rallying became Stubaru rallying with Stuart Urquhart switching to a Subaru four-wheel drive for a return to the woods. An understandably steady run in the unpredictable conditions netted fourth place, 42nd overall from a start number of 89. The spotlights no doubt helped in setting a 36th fastest time over the final, rapidly darkening stage. Donald Brooker and Rachel Booth were quickest out of the blocks over Mule Moore, but dropped back thereafter to finish third Subaru in 36th place overall, another crew who were grateful to have fitted spotlights for the final stage. Despite dropping time in Milbuie with this half spin, Ayers Ross McFadgen and Laura Marshall remained in contention for the top spot all day. A long delay at the start of Inverarney meant they had to tackle the final stage with no auxiliary lighting. Nevertheless, they posted a 25th fastest time, which left them just eight seconds away from claiming top Subaru Cup honours. On only his second Forest event, Elgin youngster Brett McKenzie, from a start number of 78, posted two top 30 stage times either side of first service to open up a handy 40 second cushion over his rivals. A nominal time on Ben Wyvis then wiped out all but one second of that lead going into the penultimate stage in Rogie. Eighteenth quickest over the 8.92 miles was an impressive response, re-establishing a 24 second lead and allowing him to take it relatively easy over the final stage to claim the first Subaru Cup win of the year. Next event, weather permitting, is his local event at the Speyside Stages, where expectations will be high for another good result in front of a home crowd.